Playing Minecraft with shaders has to be one of the best thing that could ever happen. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to install shaders for Minecraft 1.20.4. As you can see, it's actually amazing to have shaders. I mean, not just the trees look amazing, but the water also looks amazing. And really, you could add any shaders that you want once you install Iris, which is what I'm going to teach you how to install in this video. Something pretty cool that Iris has is that if you press K, you could get rid of your shaders. So after this very, very extensive intro, totally unnecessary, I know, I'm going to teach you how to install shaders now. Let's get started. The first step for installing Iris shaders is to click the second link in the description. This is our in-depth guide on how to install Iris shader, but I'm still going to walk you through in this video. All you have to do once you're here on our website is to scroll down and click where it says download Iris here. That is going to redirect you over here. Give it a second for it to load. Click where it says download now, and then you're going to click download universal jar. The download will start immediately. As you can see from mine, it asks me where to save it, but for you, it's going to download right away. And you're going to find that file right here in your recent download history, which then you're going to be able to drag and drop to your desktop, just like so. If you don't see your file here, you could probably find it in your downloads folder within your computer. Once we have the Iris installer and before we install the Iris shaders, we actually have to get some shaders because the Iris shaders is just a loader that is going to allow us to add shaders into Minecraft but it's not a shader itself okay so then the shaders that i'm going to download is complementary shaders they're nice looking shaders but something that i love is that it actually makes the ores shiny so you can see all those ores when you go mining they're gonna be all shiny if you want to download the same shaders as me complementary shaders unbound go ahead and click on the third link in the description but we have tons of shaders in our website so if you go to our website right by using any link in the description and then you click shaders and i actually misspells that you type shaders you're going to see a bunch of shaders, right? And you could download, I don't know, Kappa shaders or whatever shader really you prefer. But for this video, specifically, we're going to use complementary Unbound because they are compatible with most computers and they're really easy on your hardware. So you don't really require a lot. Like I said, if you want to download the same as me, click on the third link in the description. Let's scroll down and click where it says download. Of course, feel free to read through this article. It's an in-depth guide on how to do so. But once you click on download, you'll be here on this website. And since we're doing this for Minecraft 1.20.4, of course, we're going to download the matching version. As you can see, there's a bunch of different game versions in here. Just find the ones you like and then click on the little three dots in here and click download file. That'll redirect you over here where after five seconds, your download will begin. In my case, it downloaded right away because I have an ad blocker, but for most of you, it's going to download right away. Same as before, you're going to have it here in your recent downloads or in your downloads folder in your computer, and then you're going to drag and drop it into your desktop. Now we have a zip file and we have the Iris installer. For the next step, I want you to close Minecraft as well as your Minecraft launcher. Go ahead and close it completely. Make sure it's completely closed and then you're ready to install Iris. To install Iris, all you have to do is double click it and I'll open the installer for Iris, as you can see here. Now, before we go ahead and click install, if you didn't get the installer for Iris to open, that might be because you don't have Java installed. Java is a software that is going to allow you to open these type of files. As you can see, I have a little copy in there with a little steam coming out of it. That is because I have a Java installed. When I recently installed Windows 11, I noticed that it doesn't come with any Java, so I couldn't actually open any of these jar files. If you need to install Java, we have videos on the channel, but I'm also going to leave a link. If you click on the fourth link in the description, you have this guide in here, an in-depth guide on how to install Java 17. It's really simple. All you have to do is go to their website, select Java 17, click download, and then install it by pressing next, next a couple of times. And that's it. You have Java 17 set up and that is going to allow you to open the installer for Iris. Well, anyways, that's for those of you that need that extra step. Back into the tutorial, all we have to do here is really select Iris install, which should be selected automatically, and then click install. As you can see, 1.20.4 is selected automatically. If you're watching this in the future, there might be a slight chance that you have 1.20.5 selected or 1.21. Just look for the one that you desire. In this case, it's 1.20.4, and then click install. It shouldn't take longer than like 10 seconds to install. And as you can see, it's already completed, and we could close the installer. We could even delete the installer because we don't need it anymore. Now we have Iris installed, but we don't have any shaders yet. In order to add shaders, go ahead and launch Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher, I should say. It's opening on my other monitor, but that's not an issue. And while the Minecraft launcher is loading, let me tell you real quick about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, Apex Hosting is the best service that you can use. And if you use the first link in the description, you get 25% off your first server, either a Java, Bedrock server, even if you want to make a modded server, whatever you want to do, Apex Hosting is here for you. First link in the description for 25% off. And let's get back into the tutorial. As you can see, our Minecraft launcher has loaded. And since we installed Iris properly, we see it selected here automatically. That should be the case for most of you. And if by any reason you don't have Iris selected automatically, you could always head over to installations, 
click where it says modded and make sure that modded is selected for you to see iris in here and if that doesn't bring up iris for you you could always click on new installation name this something like iris or you could really name it whatever you want and then where it says version look for iris in here as you can see it's the third option for me iris fabric loader and then you create a new instance for it and you will have it in here that's just in case you didn't get it right away but most of you should get it right away anyways how do we add the shaders all you have to do is now click play with iris selected you might get this prompt in here click that you understand and then click play again and just wait for minecraft to load and i'll see you once minecraft has opened anyways as you can see the game has opened and now we're going to add shaders you could add shaders to either a single player or a multiplayer world it doesn't really make a difference i'm going to do it in a single player world but like I said, you could do it to a multiplayer world. It works everywhere, okay? And if you need your own server, remember, first link in the description. Apex Olsen will give you 25% off and you'll be supporting the channel. Anyways, once you're in the game, as you can see, I already have shaders, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and disable them. So this is how your game is gonna look. Whenever you log in, you're not gonna have any shaders and you might wanna add some shaders. All you have to do to add shaders is press escape, head over to options, click where it says video settings, click where it says shader packs right here. And then here, this is gonna be empty for you. You're not gonna have any shaders. So you're going to click where it says open shader pack folder. That is going to bring you to another empty folder, which is completely fine. All you have to do in here is drag and drop that zip file, the complementary unbound or whatever shaders you ended up downloading into this folder. As you can see, it added right away. I already had complementary in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the old one. So now I have this new one. And if I head back into the game, you're gonna see your complementary unbound in here as well as any other shader that you added. I'm gonna go ahead and select complementary and I'm going to go ahead and apply it. After a couple seconds, the shaders will load into the game. And as you can see, we have some nice, nice looking shaders in Minecraft 1.20.4. And I just have to say the shaders are beautiful. As you can see, it makes the ores shiny. So yeah, that is pretty much how to add shaders or how to install iris and then add shaders to Minecraft 1.20.4. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.